Alrighty, so in this part of this little video series, I'm going to look through all my straight needles and take a look at what I have, contemplate them, and ah, keep them because I like them. Alrighty, let's go take a look. hands coming along peek down see the stitches down there stitches come out on Tuesday morning I can't wait now let's take a look at what all is in in here I don't even know oh, these are those long Afghan hooks or Tunisian crochet hooks I forgot I had those So I have a variety. I have a bunch of dusty. I don't use them often. Oh, it's another Tunisian hook. So Eaton's, that's a Canadian store that's no longer in business and hasn't been for a while. So a couple of Susan Bates ones. And I don't really use straight needles for anything. So um, I'm keeping them for the time being, but I really don't know if I'll keep them forever. Let's get which ones do we have? The set that I bought a while back, just a set of clover bamboo. Yeah, bamboo knitting needles. I don't even know what that is, but I'll keep it. So these ones are all in their packages. And you can see how long I've had these. $1.75, $1.95. I probably bought, I would have bought these when I still lived in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And I have not lived in Winnipeg since 1999. So, <laughs> these are all pre-1999. I'm sure I bought these all probably in the early 90s. Late 80s, early 90s. Um, I don't know if I even have a container for this. I don't have... Uh, I don't know where these live in. Let's just get these other random ones. And these are just plastic something. Do they have an ouch? Nope, don't know what those are. These ones are either, they're boy needles six or a nine. I'm guessing a six. But I don't have packages for those, so we'll just stick them back where they came from. Now let's, oops, here's the, the mate to the, these two I think go together. There's something on there, but I can't read it. Let's get my other glasses. Twelve. Well, it's not a twelve of any sort that I could imagine. It's not a twelve millimeter. It's not a U.S. twelve. Hmm. If anyone has an idea on these ones, you can let me know. It's got some chunks of the paint coming off. Oh goodness. And then these guys. Do I have? So there's the five and a half, there's the six. Let's see how many, the four and a half, 
four, so three and a half. So five and a half going here. So I'm gonna put these all away. I honestly don't know when I've last used these. So I guess I'll just put them back in their packages. Again, I bought these at Timothy Eaton store, and that has been out of business for I have no idea how long quite some time. Four millimeter, nothing else. I'll get these all packaged up. I'm not going to get rid of them yet, I'll keep them for the time being. And who knows, one day I might use straights again. Probably not too frequently, though. And the three and a half. And what on earth do I have in here? So this is an old, I think these were some of things that belonged to my grandmother. Old Cuban cigar container. Yeah. These are just a bunch of old steel crochet hooks. They're tarnished. The finish is coming off them. But they belong to my grandmother. And they're just all tiny, tiny crochet hooks. There, by boy, size 11, 12, 4. I think they might all be boy. Maybe no Millward. A couple of them are Millward. But I'm just gonna keep them in here. Where they have, have been for umpteen years. I'm gonna pop those in there. So I'm gonna say I don't use pretty much I don't use any of these, but I am gonna keep them and just have them just keep them as is and eventually I might use some of them or I might decide to give them away or something down the road. So there we have it. All the straight needles are sorted out. I kind of ended the discussion on my straight needles pretty abruptly there. Just kind of like, okay, we're done. Stop talking. <laughs> Anyway, tomorrow we'll take a look at all my double point needles. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Bye.